Hello everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you all who are watching my e content. I am Mrs. A. Parveen Banu, Assistant Professor, Department of Business Administration, Saint Joseph College for Women, Tirupur. My topic is an introduction to advertising and sales promotion. First, meaning of advertising. Advertising is any form of paid, non-personal presentation of ideas, goods or services for the purpose of inducing people to buy. The advertisements are capable of diverting the attention of the viewers, listeners, readers or the onlookers towards a particular brand, product, service or an idea. So, any piece of information that diverts the attention of the target customers towards a brand or product service idea can be called advertising. Next, objectives of advertising. First objective is to inform that is providing product information. Providing product information is the key purpose of advertising. The advertising strategically focus on drawing the attention of potential customers through utilizing effective verbal and communication techniques that become highly appealing. Second objective is to influence. So, languages and images used effectively in advertisements result in highlighting the strong points of your product or service thus influencing the buying decision of the customers. Third, to remind. So, reminding the customers about offered products and services. Advertisement remind the customers about the brand or organization and position its offerings in the minds of the customers. Next thing is to add value. Uh, while preparing advertisement, an advertiser focuses on increasing brand value by emphasizing on the product strength. So, brand value can be increased by using advertising elements like pictures and text. Next thing, to assist in other company activities. Uh, advertising also aims at aiding other activities like informing the customers regarding sales promotion offers like uh, discounts and uh, gift cards. Use of advertising is also profitable for the organization as it instructs the customers about different uses of the product or service before they purchase it. Next importance of advertising. The first importance is to increase the sales of the product. Second thing is to avoid seasonal fluctuations cause decrease in demand but advertising regularize the steady demand of the product. Next, a well regulated and efficient advertising campaign enables expeditious turnover of products due to creation of a highly reactive market. Uh, next, increases the efficiency level of employees and workers and always motivate them to increase their efforts and also raises the team spirit and confidence of the employees. Next thing is, makes the organization a producer who has developed a positive image of delivering quality products to the society. Next importance is consumer needs should study by the salesman. Next, it reduces the burden of the salesman's job. Next thing is medium to educate the consumers about various innovative products. Then another important thing is the shopping experience of the customers is simplified due to advertising. Next, functions of advertising. The first function is establishing communication between manufacturers and consumers. Second function is contributes to economic growth by helping to expand the market especially for new products. Next, informing consumers about the availability of product in market, it stimulates demand. 
Next, satisfied customers also develop brand preference which gets reinforced by repeated ads. Next function is favorable images plays in advertising help in building the brand image. Next thing is advertising does the pre-selling of the product and makes the job of salesman, sales people easier. Advertising helps to differentiate a company's offer in a manner that the product may be considered as something with unique value having a definite identity of its own. Next function is advertising encourages innovation and new product development and reduces risk. The acceptance of advertising by different media enhances the potential for raising revenues. Next sales promotion. See, sales promotion is very important component of the marketing, especially the promotion mix. It focuses on encouraging the potential customers or retailers to buy the products or services of an organization by enhancing its value. Sales promotion is an exercise in information, persuasion and influence. See, the methods or techniques for uh, sales promotion is first consumer protection free samples are distributed to the end users second thing is coupons money refund offer bonus offer contest to lucky draw are provided for influencing the buying activity of the customers and promote sales for the particular product second technique is dealer promotion Manufacturer provide discount or allowance on purchase of their products and also provide discount on list price or an amount paid second thing is credit facility advertising material dealer listed instruments for example diaries calendars keychains etc offered by the manufacturer and the third important thing is sales for sales promotion first thing is bonus is offered on sales in excess of the quota fixed in order to get the higher premium, the salesman will try to sell more quantities of goods. Sales for contest are announced to stimulate company salesmen to redouble their interest and efforts over a stated period with prices to be the top performer. Next thing is sales meeting, salesman's conventions and conferences are conducted by manufacturers for the purpose of education, inspiring and rewarding the salesman. New products and new selling techniques are described and discussed in such meetings. The next thing is difference between advertising and sales promotion. In advertising, there is no direct contact between sender and receiver of the advertisement message. It is a non-personal type of communication. In sales promotion, the approach of sales promotion may be personal as well as impersonal. The second thing is advertising is focused towards informing, persuading and reminding target customers about the offerings of an organization but in promoting in sales promotion promoting an increase in sales through adding values in the products and services is the basic objective of sales promotion uh, next thing is advertising is beneficial in both short run and long run through advertising brand awareness as well as brand preference is developed within the customers which provide both the short term and long term benefits to the organization but in sales promotion sales promotion plans are generated for a specific time period so as to enhance the sales in that particular time these schemes may be beneficial for short run only in advertising, advertising message is developed for mass. The cost per audience is less. In sales promotion, it is a costly method because incentives given such as free samples, extra discount, free gifts, off-season discount, etc. To offer value to customers cost a lot to the organization. So finally, the purpose of advertising is to inform and remind consumers about your brand, product or service. And the purpose of sales promotion is to increase consumer demand and improve product availability. Thank you for watching.